Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Beacon and I'm a process specialty engineer at Fluor in Southern California and I just hit my five-year milestone at the company. Uh, so I'm a process specialty engineer, um, which actually comes from a background of chemical engineering. So my day-to-day -day can be very different. In general, we take a product and we design a process to get it from point A to point B, which is the final product that our client wants. So this can entail anything from line sizing, equipment design, um, spec design, materials, uh, working with other disciplines, instrumentation, um, there's a lot that goes into it. So my day-to-day -day is always different and I'm always working with new people and learning new things. So that's part of what I really like about being a process specialty engineer. Not only that, but I can use my math, science, problem-solving background and um, concepts to come up with answers that maybe didn't, like, didn't exist before. So sometimes we get clients that come to us with a question or, you know, hey, can Fluor do this? And Sometimes we have experience in it, and sometimes we have enough relevant experience that we can, you know, use our deduction and, you know, try to come up with a valid solution that, you know, meets cost and is effective and efficient for our clients. So I graduated from the University of California, Irvine in 2015, and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering, which is how I got into my specialty role, but I also got a minor in material science engineering, which kind of stemmed from chemical engineering, and I just found it really interesting to see how, you know, different materials handle pressures and temperatures and stresses, um, that kind of thing. Uh, plus, it was just very interesting classes to take. I surprisingly didn't have any internships. Um, a lot of my fellow classmates did. I think the reason that I didn't, but although I would definitely recommend them, I think the reason I didn't is I was heavily involved in um, two groups at UCI. One was called Omega Chi Epsilon, uh, which is a the Honors Chemical Engineering Society there. So I was very heavily involved with that, and also um, the American, they call it ACI. Um, so that, that really brought together um, a lot of chemical engineers and we could network and, you know, reach out to different companies and have, um, you know, socializing, like it was a, an all-encompassing group. But my favorite part about being considered my internship while I was at UCI, um, I was actually the, um, the manager for the Chemi Car program. And so I got really great leadership skills, teamwork skills, and basically the Chemi Car program is you have to design and create a vehicle that can go from the starting point and end on a particular uh, distance carrying a particular amount of weight of both of which are given the day of the competition. So basically you have to design some kind of chemical engineering reaction that you can tweak what you add in order to stop it um, at whatever you're, you're given. So as manager, I was actually able to get us to nationals for the first time at UCI. And so I think that that really helped me um, with my you know, background experience and when I was applying for different companies, uh, even though I didn't have that internship, I still got a lot of you know, some of the skills and qualities you might have gotten from an internship. Um, in terms of mentors, I didn't have any formal mentors, but I was definitely close with a lot of my professors and um, made a really good group of you know, other classmates that I would work with and we would work together. You know, sometimes I would get a concept and they wouldn't, or vice versa, and so, you know, having that network um, really helps you through school. Yes, um, my biggest piece of advice, and it's a very, you know, cliche piece of advice, but don't give up. School will be hard. I was one of the ones in high school where, like, I felt like I never had to study, and I never had to, you know, really push myself beyond the homework because I would do pretty well. And so I was, I was fortunate in that respect because, you know, a lot of people don't always have that, I don't know, that option. But when I got to college, I mean, it's a whole different world. Not only are you like on your own schedules, you're having to go to class on your own terms, you know, listen to professors that don't quite teach the same as, you know, you might have done in high school. Uh, it's, it can be difficult. So don't give up. 
definitely make that like classwork networking friend group because um, it really helps when you can work together and brainstorm and not only that, but like start to harbor your communication and teamwork skills that are super important when you get into industry. And not only that, but there's, you know, office hours and, um, you know, other forms of support that if you're feeling like you're struggling or you want to switch majors because it's too hard, exhaust all options and just don't give up. I definitely thought about giving up a couple times and I'm so glad I didn't because once you make it past the, you know, secondary education at college, um, actually getting to apply what you've learned and like realize how much that you absorbed while you were in school, even if you can't remember that exact equation, it's incredible. And being able to work with other like-minded people, whether they're classmates or, you know, your fellow coworkers is awesome. So long story short, don't give up. Just keep on pushing and stay determined.